tell Tenpenny he can kiss my ass. We've got plenty. How many times do we have to go through this? What do you look. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps, and I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. What? No, just those damn ghouls. Sorry, thought you were one of them. Ghoul or not, I must inform you that you are trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. Renders an official business only. All right, come on in. But I warn you, we're watching you. Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. Don't do anything stupid. Ah yes, Mr. Burke is expecting you. He's waiting for you on the balcony. Fancy that! A visitor! I seldom get visitors, which is a tiresome shame, because I'm usually relentlessly bored out of my right mind. All of these confounded people fluster about like I'm made of eggshells and about to fall to pieces in any moment. I'm surprised they even let you in. So, what do you think of my fine tower here? It's quite the jewel of the wasteland, isn't it? I dare say I'm quite proud of it myself. Right, oh, when I saw this place jutting up out of the horizon, I knew what I had to do. I hired some muscle, and we got this place fixed up right quick. I had the great fortune to run into Mr. Burke, an absolute gem of a man. He certainly has a way of getting done what needs to get done, doesn't he? Then it was a matter of getting the right type of tenants with the right type of assets, and the rest is, as they say, history. I complained offhand one day about how I thought that heap of metal on the horizon was a bit of an eyesore. Mr. Burke offered to take care of it. Burke is such an agreeable man, isn't he? I don't know how I got along without him. I practically don't have to think about things anymore. He takes care of everything. I seldom even have to ask. He's a real go-getter, that one. We need more men like him if we're going to rebuild the world. Well said, indeed! You've got the entrepreneurial spirit! It gives me hope to see young people such as yourself with real heads on their shoulders. Good day. The pulse charge is rigged. Excellent. Excellent! Ah, the anticipation is... When you have finished savoring the moment, you may have the honor of pressing the button. Oh, and mind your eyes, it'll be brighter than bright. What? What?
disgust. Now, all this bright light and wind has given me quite a thirst. Where's my scarf? Watch. I'll send someone up as soon as I complete this. Watch. 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 My God. What transcendent beauty. What purifying light. Allow me to collect myself, as I'm sure you're anxious to collect your payment. I have been asked to extend to you an invitation to reside at Tenpenny Tower. Here's the key and deed to your new master suite. It's on the top floor, first door on your right from the elevator. Oh. Enjoy your new accommodations. Oh, and if you wish to spruce the place up a bit, speak with Lydia Montenegro in the Boutique Le Chic. <laughs>